get on next week, but I think next week's too late. So I just wanted to pop on, say hi, um, give you guys just a little bit of an update. Not a whole lot has been um, going on. I'm sick really bad right now. I've got like something in my lung. Um, it's just really hard to breathe. I got a really bad cold um, about a week ago and it's just kind of moved down to my lungs. And so I'm doing a lot of hacking and coughing. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> then again, it could be, um, I'm on a cleanse, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe some of you guys know what Plexus is. I'm totally not selling it or anything, but I, um, I do, I did buy some and have been on it for about two months and it, most of it was in an attempt to lose some weight because since Tyler, um, has been gone, I've been up and down in my weight, mostly up. <laughs> And um, although weight isn't something that I want to focus too much on because I do work for a center for girls with eating disorders, so I don't want to put it out there like everybody needs to, you know, be a certain weight or anything like that because that's not the idea. But you know what you're comfortable with, you know, and when clothes just start not, they're not fitting you anymore and you're having to go out and buy new ones and um, change things and like, like loosen your belt a little bit and stuff like that it's like time for a change so I got on this plexus to um, try to see if I could lose some weight and it hasn't been working really quick as quick as I would like but I'm sticking with it I've been on it for two months and I think right now I'm just kind of going through the detox part of it I can tell like my skin I'm breaking out I'm feeling sick I um, haven't lost a ton of weight but um, you know, I just hear a lot of good things about it. My mom and my sisters do it, and they rave about it. So we'll see. I'm in my second month, and we will see. We, sh we shall see how it goes. I can keep you guys posted as time goes on, if I even stick with it. Um, I Let's see. My birthday was a couple of weeks ago, and we went to see Sydney in college. And um, she didn't really care to see us. It was so funny because... We went to, you know, stay for the weekend, stayed in a hotel, and it happened to be homecoming weekend for that college. So she stayed and um, did all the homecoming events while we sat in the hotel the whole time. But it was still fun. It was a good time. Good time to get away and spend um, celebrating my birthday. And <clears throat> she lives in the dorms and doesn't happen to have a roommate right now. So Isaac was able to stay the night with her. And so that was really cool. He was excited to be a college student for a weekend. Um, let's see, I just, I've been getting some eye wigs. I'm wearing an eye wig right now that I got from, um, Eye Wig Boutique. She's on YouTube. Um, her name's Shannon, and, um, I got a couple of human hair eye wigs, um, recently, well, in the past few months that I just love. They just look so real. Um, take this hat off. I just don't feel like I look very good today to really be showing this thing off, but, um, I just love human hair wigs. I like how long they last. They are a little more high maintenance as far as styling and stuff goes, but it's, I think they're worth the money. I'm so thankful I have a job because without a job, I wouldn't be, buy, wouldn't be able to buy these wigs. That's what I'd say is I tell people I work for wigs. <laughs> it's the only reason. So um, it pretty much is literally like my entire paycheck seems to go for plexus and wigs, okay? So um, Mike is totally understandable, or totally understanding, not understandable. He, he understands my love for wigs. So as long as it's my money that's <laughs> buying these wigs, then he's fine with it. So um, all is well. Um... I don't like to go in too great a detail on this channel, and you guys know that, that there's been people, a certain family member. I'm going to go ahead and say it. It's my mother-in-law. She, um, I don't know, it's things, she just, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I, I, I love her as far as she's my husband's mom, but things don't, haven't gone well with us and her for quite some time and so she found me on youtube and um uh, you know i just i just would rather her not be part of this channel and know what's going on you know and things like that it's i know i'm, I'm totally i'm not saying anything bad about her because there's nothing to say bad about her but she caused me a lot of anxiety and causes mike 
a lot of anxiety as well. And so it's just to have have that in our lives at this time, especially since we lost Tyler, is just, we just can't have it. So anyway, that's why I had to change my channel. And so I um, haven't even posted on that other channel, but um, there are more um, personal videos on that from a few months ago, which I need to start getting back on um, when I start feeling better. <laughs> um, and as we get closer to Christmas, I will start posting more. But um, <clears throat> anyway, off that subject, there's no point in, in talking anymore about that. But um, the healing and stuff so far with um, Tyler, getting you know, with the grieving and stuff with Tyler is it's coming around. It's starting to warm up, and um, we're feeling I'm feeling better. And but man, I don't know because I feel like it got better about the six month mark. It was bad at like three to four months and then it got better and then um, it's kind of like within the past six weeks um, kind of been hitting again where we're um, really starting to miss Tyler. And so I don't know if it cycles like that, if it's, you know, some of you who have dealt with grief might understand it better and and could would know if it's, you know, like this, like you're fine and you think, oh, you know, I, maybe it's the grief has passed and then something hits you and you're like, oh, it's back. And so I'm really afraid now of going into this time of year. This time of year has always been my favorite time of year. And I'm one that likes to put the Christmas tree up on Halloween. And I'm not going to be able to, well, it's not that I'm not going to be able to do it this year. But without Tyler, it's like this, that book has been closed or that, you know, I don't know. And I know I'm supposed to keep up with life and move on. And I am, but I need to figure out different traditions or or do I stick with the same ones? I don't know. I just don't have any desire to get into the spirit. I, I don't know. I'm just blah, 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 right? But yeah, I'm just kind of scared to go into this season. It's his birthday's in December, and then we have Thanksgiving and Christmas, and then um, New Year's, and then January 8th is when he died. And so it's like that, that dark time shadows the joyous time of year that it used to be. So I need to, I'm just kind of scrambling. Like I don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to act. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm just doing my best. And sometimes it is literally a day at a time. And I hate that word literally. I say that all the time, literally. Um, <laughs> but it is, it's a day at a time. And so I'm just going into this um, fall and winter, just, I don't know. I've really been kind of hermity. I've been like a hermit. and. Mike and I have just been wanting to stay in, stay in the house and not really go anywhere. We do go out to eat. We like to eat at the mall of all things like that has become a comforting thing for us. We do that and then we come home and lock the door and, and watch TV and, and kind of hang out together. And it's like just the motivation to <clears throat> go out to different things, um, different events or <laughs> things we used to do is just like draining. And so I think that's just part of the grieving part of healing and so without going into too great a detail it's just kind of been like that for us we've just been really tired exhausted I don't reach out to my friends like I used to which is probably normal it's like I just don't have it in me I just don't have the drive or the motivation or anything so that could be why I'm not doing as many videos either it's just it's so hard to drum up desire anymore you know for anything that used to bring me joy so um, but I still am, I still do feel joy. It's just, it's in a different way. I have the peace of the Lord is on us. Your prayers for us have just been um, totally healing for us. And definitely I feel his presence and I feel that we, I say I, but Mike does too, feel the peace. And it's actually been a very um, peaceful time between Mike and me. This has been a growing time. We just celebrated our 26th anniversary, wedding anniversary yesterday. And we have never been closer than we have gotten this year since um, the death of Tyler. So it definitely hasn't torn us apart like some marriages do after the loss of a child. So <clears throat> um, we have gotten closer and <clears throat> our life seems peaceful despite what we're, we've gone through. So I'm just scared to go into this next season and this next chapter. But 
I'll figure it out. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I love you. I've missed you. The sun is like giving me bad shadows. I already look really washed out anyway, but I thought I'd get on anyway and say hi and let you guys know I'm still here. I'm okay. And I will just see you in my next video, whenever that may be. All right. I love you guys. Talk to you later.